Now let's talk about the tangent key on the calculator and how to calculate the tangent of an angle using the calculator. It's really simple. Uh, the calculator has a tangent key. It's TAN and on the TI-83 it's right there. The tangent key. And uh, if you have a different type of calculator you need to find the tangent key on your calculator. And we're going to be calculating the tangent of an angle and angles are measured in degrees but angles can also be measured in radians and most calculators can be set to work in degrees or radians and on the TI-83 you use the mode key which is right there to set it in degrees or radians and we'll use the calculator to calculate the tangent of various angles here and I'll make some comments along the way okay so here's the, the calculator and let's turn it on the first thing I'll do is hit mode and on this calculator you see down there on the third line it says radians or degrees so we need to use the arrow keys and go down to the third line and go over to degrees and press enter and that sets it to degrees and then you hit quit which is in this calculator the second function on the mode key so you hit second and quit and now the calculator is in degree mode and if you're using a different calculator you need to know how to set it to degree mode as well so the tangent of 45 so we just hit the tangent key type in tangent uh, tangent 45 and you don't have to hit the closed parentheses here although I like to tangent 45 and of course it says 1 so the tangent of 45 is 1 the tangent of 47 well 45 uh, 47 is a little bit bigger than 45 the tangent here should be a little bit bigger than 1 and yet it is 1.0723 okay slightly more than 1 the tangent of 44.9 that is a little bit less than 45 we should have a value that is a little bit less than 1 and there it is 0.9965 and if we just have some other number you can calculate the tangent of any angle for example the tangent of 68.24 comes out to 2.505 okay watch this the tangent of 1 degree that's a small angle it should have a small value. We said as the angle gets really close to zero, the value of the tangent gets really close to zero. So tangent of one degree is 0 0.0175 if we round 0 0.0175. And watch this, the tangent of 0 0.003, so 0 0.003, a very small angle. And look what we get, 5.23 We'll call that 5.236 times 10 to the minus fifth. That's a very small number. And if we go all the way to zero, the tangent of zero is zero. Okay, let's put those values in. You can write these in. The tangent of 45 was one, and I'm going to round these. That was 1.0723.9965. Two point five oh five zero point one seven five, and this was really small, really small angle. Five point two three six times ten to the minus fifth, and the tangent of zero was zero. And there's a few more on here. Okay, the tangent of eighty nine point five degrees. Okay, if I type tangent eighty nine point five we said as the angle gets close to 90 the value of the tangent of the angle gets pretty large so we would expect a big number here I hit enter 114.5887 okay or 114.6 if you want to round it if we make the angle even bigger watch this the tangent of 89.9999 so that's almost 90 we said as the angle approaches 90 degrees, the tangent of the angle approaches infinity. So we would expect a big number here. And sure enough, 572,958 approximately. And if we go all the way to 90, the tangent of 90 degrees, 90, the tangent of 90 degrees is error, domain error. We can't put 90 into the tangent function. Let's go back and look at that. You can't have a tangent of 90 degrees. Opposite over adjacent, and in this case the adjacent is zero. So we, we can't compute the tangent of 90 degrees. So let's fill in 
fill in our notes. Tangent of 89.5 was 114.6. Tangent of 89.9999 came out to 572,957. And you don't have to know these numbers. Whenever you need a number like this, you just put it into the calculator. Don't, don't try to memorize these. The point I want you to take away is that as the angle gets close to 90, sure enough, the tangent gets really large. And at 90, you get an error. Or if you want to, right here, you could write the tangent of 90 degrees is undefined. And the reason is because the tangent is the opposite divided by the adjacent. And at 90 degrees, the adjacent is 0. So you can't divide by 0.